is the fifth element on the periodic table. And at least I personally think it's kind of boring. So I'm going to show you now its most common allotrope or its most common type. You can see little, it's a black powder on here. Kind of looks like coal, uh, you know, which is carbon, which is the next element. So they look pretty similar. There are some other allotropes that are very hard. There's one kind that is just below diamond on the hardness scale. So as you can see, both of these elements, boron and carbon, can make very hard things in addition to boring powders like this. Boron in its compounds is very common. Here is boric acid, which you can get at the drugstore to, for, as a roach killer and also um, borax, which is boron's main ore, is used as a laundry additive because at high temperatures, so when the, when the laundry machine reaches a high temperature, it decomposes into hydrogen peroxide, which bleaches the clothes. Um, so borax and its compounds, uh, bo excuse me, boron and its compounds is pretty common, pretty cheap. But actually, not many people have seen elemental boron. And I would like to thank Mr. Home Scientist, another YouTuber, for giving me the method for isolating elemental boron from boric acid. Uh, there is a link to his channel in the video description. The way I did it is I took this boric acid, heated it up, and then I had boric oxide which has the formula B2O3. Then I powdered that, mixed it with magnesium powder, which has a higher, which has a lower electronegativity, so it will take the oxygen, heated it up really hot, and I had a redox reaction where the oxygen essentially jumped from the boron to the magnesium. I had magnesium oxide and elemental boron. He has a detailed video of how he did this in his, uh, on his channel, and I may be doing a video about that soon. So I have now shamed Boron in, in saying that it's, it's very boring. It's a boring black powder, kind of like coal. But there's one thing that is very, very, that's very, very cool about Boron. If you put it in a flame, it burns a bright, green color, and so do many of its compounds. So what I'm going to do is I've got a camping stove here, which will give me a nice flame, and then I've got boron here, and what I've got here, I've got a test tube full of very pure hydrochloric acid. This is much purer than the hydrochloric acid I use in my hydrogen and beryllium and lithium videos. Um, that stuff was from the hardware store, is very impure. This is really, really, really high grade stuff. And what I'm doing is I've got this inoculating loop, this uh, nichrome. It's, and I've got it, I had it in the hydrochloric acid, which, try, well, which will dissolve, mo will, will actually will react with most of the impurities on it. So hopefully, you'll be able to see at least a little bit of the green tint that the boron gives the flame. So I'm going to now close the garage door so it's nice and dark. Okay, here we go. And there's still, there's already some sodium on there. Sodium burns a, a bright yellow, orangey color, and it will mask almost any other element. So we try to get all the sodium off of this. I've been soaking this for a while, so now I'm going to dip it in the boron. And let's see if there's a green tint to the flame. Oh yeah, for sure. That was really cool. Now I'm going to put in the hydrochloric acid again. And let's try this again. Here we go. Yeah, that's a nice green tint. I think it shows up on camera, probably.